Yeah, I see them in the streets struggling. Young, dumb, and thugging. Give a fuck about nothing. Stuck at rock bottom trying to come up on something. Pumping from sundown to sun. What's up, guys? Street Justice here. Welcome back to my channel. We are back with another reaction to Game of Thrones. This is Season 1, Episode 4, Cripples. Bastards and Broken Things. I have no idea what that episode title means. I'm not going to try and speculate, but uh, yeah, last episode. I know they're really setting up for the season finale. At least I think they are with Winter is Coming. And I, I'm fully expecting for all the major events of the season to take place then. But that last episode really made me think that bad things are coming, maybe even a little bit sooner. That one scene between Ned and Kat, the look that they gave each other, I swear, it was like a final look. It, it had to be. The camera lingered on them a little bit too long. I know they're already stressing like hey the the Lannisters are out there right now they're headhunting and we're, we're possibly next but definitely the look they gave each other man I, I just feel that that was the last time that they're ever gonna see each other again which, which I'm gonna hate because I really like both those characters at least from what we've seen they're both good noble people I of course Ned has had to chop off a few heads in his day <laughs> we saw in the very first episode but you know, he, he was just doing what he had to do. So yeah, I don't think the best of things are coming their way, but hey, fingers crossed that I'm wrong. We're just gonna have to wait and see, I guess. With that said, I don't really have too much more to say before we jump into this episode. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, please make sure you guys click that button down below. Quick reminder, as always, please no spoilers. With that said, let's jump right in. Let's check it out. Let's go. <laughs> Someone's got a message. Bran, he's up. It's leading him to something. That's a scary looking bird, I swear. Ah! Oh! Ah! I had a third eye. So he's not up yet. We have visitors. But we don't want to see anyone. Hold on. Hold on. Help Bran down the hall. Hold on. He just seems like an ogre. I must say I received a slightly warmer welcome on my last visit. So it's true. Would your charming companion be so kind as to kneel? My neck is beginning to hurt. Kneel, Hodor. The boy has lost the use of his legs. What of it? With the right horse and saddle, even a cripple can ride. I'm not a cripple. Then I'm not a dwarf. Give that to your saddler. He'll provide the rest. What is this? You must shape the horse to the rider. Start with a yearling. Teach it to respond to the reins and to the boy's voice. Damn. Why do you want to help him? I have a tender spot in my heart. Cripples, bastards, and broken things. Episode title. The hospitality of Winterfell is yours. Spare me your false courtesies, Lord Stark. There's a brothel outside your walls. There I'll find a bed, and both of us can sleep easier. He's the man. And was he some northern ass? Unless he was responsible for the heads. sword. Where is Lady Stark? Why didn't she receive me? She wasn't feeling well. She's not in Winterfell, is she? Careful, imp. I've offended you. Forgive me. It's been a rough morning. Your next tumble with Roz is on me. I'll try not to wear her out. Oh, wow. He's a shit talker. Left foot forward. Back at the wall. Now pivot as you deliver the stroke with all your weight behind it. What in seven hours is that? Tell them your name. Tom Will Tarly. I've come to take the black. Come to take the black pudding? See what he can do. Watch him be a killer. Oh. I yield. Please, no more. Oh, God. He has no place out there. He yielded. Looks like the bastard's in love. Man, he's a fighter. We've seen a bit of it already, but this just proves it. Deal, deal, deal. Go clean the armory. That's all you're good for. He's the best fighter you got. Look at that view. Gorgeous. Alright, let's catch up with uh, the Khaleesi and my boy Cal Drogo. The city of the Horse Lords. Best these savages can do. These are my people now. You shouldn't call them savages. I'll call them what I like because they're my people. This is my army. He's gonna get his. I know at some point he's gonna get his. The Dothraki have never crossed the narrow sea. They fear any water their horses can't drink. But if they did... King Robert is fool enough to meet them in open battle. And you know these men. I fought beside them once. Now Ned Stark wants my head. He drove me from my land. They call you the last dragon. They do? You have dragon's blood in your veins. 
Well, it's entirely possible. I have always wanted to see a dragon. There's nothing in the world that I would rather see. Really? I'm sure you will. The King's Tournament. I assure you, the hand wants no part of it. The city is packed with people and more flooding in every day. Last night we had a tavern riot, a brothel fire, three stabbings and a drunken horse race down the street of Sisters. Now that's yeah. a party. If you found money for a champion's purse, you'll find money to keep the peace. I'll also give you 20 of my household guard until the crowds have left. Now, there's nothing else, my lords. He's doing his job out there, I swear. Till tomorrow, my lord. I've been hoping to talk to you about John Allen. Lord Allen. Here we go. I saw him in my chambers just the night before he passed. He came inquiring after a book. So he's doing some detective work. I'd like to read it. What book is it? The lineages and history of the great houses of the Seven Kingdoms. Why would he want to see that the night before he just so happens to die? Did he say anything to you during his final hours? Nothing of import, my lord. There was one phrase he kept repeating. Let's hear it. It's important. The seed is strong, I think it was. The seed is strong. Ned Stark is pulling a Batman right now. He's getting his uh, detective work on for sure. Are you? Can I be lord of the whole fact? You will marry a high lord and rule this castle. Your sons shall be knights and princes and lords. <laughs> no. I was going to say, I don't think she wants that. I'm interested to see where her story goes. Hello. Oh, God. So Alice has said I'm to be your new watch partner. Fuck. You can't fight. You can't see. You're afraid of heights and almost everything else, probably. What are you doing here, Sam? Yeah, what are you good for? I'm not going to get any better, you know. Well, it can't get any worse. <laughs> Good point. The spider has taken a great interest in your comings and goings. Oh, Baelish, perhaps I was wrong to distrust you. Distrusting me was the wisest thing you've done since you climbed off your horse. I don't trust him. I thought my hand did call on me, my lord, several times. What did Lord Aaron want? I always came to see the boy. I'd like to see him as well. Look at me. If the day ever comes when that boy would rather wield a sword than forge one, you send him to me. King Robert's bastard son. Fuck, I knew it. Sam's no different from the rest of us. There's no place for him in the world, so he's come here. He's our brother now, and we're going to protect him. You are in love, Lord Snow. I'm gonna slice me off a side of bacon. <laughs> John Snow's gonna fuck this guy up. <laughs> That's all he had to say. What are you waiting for? He can't do anything. Attack him! You get in there. He's not gonna do it either. Go on, hit me. You think this is funny, do you? When you're out there, beyond the wall with the sun going down, do you want a man at your back or a sniveling boy? This guy's always up to no good, man. What's he you doing now? This call to give me commands. I should have sent you back her head. Why did you hit her? How many times do I have to tell you? You do not command I me. I wasn't commanding you. Oh. You are a horse, Lord Flut. And now you've woken the dragon. You're dead, man. Nice. I am a Khaleesi of the Dothraki. The next time you raise a hand to me will be the last time you have hands. Oh, he is shook. He's still mad. We've been sitting here for days. Start the damn joust before I piss myself. Not looking good, man. So Gregor Clegane, they call him the Mountain. The Mountain's older brother. And his opponent. So you of the Vale. Yes, enough of the bloody pomp. I'm at him. 
Alright, place your bets. My money's on the mountain. This guy looks like a beast. Did I get a point? Round two. Fight! Oh! Holy shit! I didn't know it was that bad. That was brutal. But I picked the winner. You're missing your tournament. Putting my name on it doesn't make it mine. What are you doing here? I might ask the same of you. You're just a soldier, aren't you? I suppose it makes sense. Your older brother was trained to lead and you were trained to follow. I was also trained to kill my enemies, your grace. I like that. As was I. Oh, if she was a man, we'd have to bring out the measuring tape. I'm sorry, my lord. We're full up. You can have my room. Now oh, there's a clever man. Lady Stark. Right away. What an unexpected pleasure. I'm sorry to miss you at Winterfell. She's got backup. These are her people, this I guess. This man came into my house as a guest. And there conspired to murder my son. I call upon you to seize him. Oh! And help me return him to Winterfell to await the king's justice. Damn! Crazy scene. All right, guys, that was Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 4, Cripples, Bastards, and Broken Things. What an episode, I tell you guys, especially at the end there. I didn't know exactly what was happening, and then it all came together. I didn't even realize, I, I guess I should have realized that the second that he walked in there and she was in there, that she already knows about the sword. But uh, yeah, I didn't even piece those two together. My bad for that. But when she started going around and then basically saying like, hey, you got my back. We go way back. I know your family. My, you knew my father. Your mother knows my father. You're, this kingdom. I know that kingdom. We, we're all connected. And so she basically had her ducks in a row there and then made sure that everyone was there to, uh, to back her up. That was such a good conclusion of the episode. I swear, I just want to jump right in the next one. Like I said before, though once the walking dead season 10 wraps up i'm gonna be doing double episodes weekly of this show you guys can guarantee that i don't know if we're gonna have to wait until the actual season finale for winter to i guess actually come but uh things are starting to pick up now and i'm definitely excited to see where things go from here another major focus of this episode actually took place at the wall with uh john snow and i guess that new coward that was introduced he kind of took a liking to him he even had to go as far as protecting him in the middle of the night i thought that was super cool with the wolf uh, over top that one guy who was kind of being a dick he's saying yeah i'm basically gonna slice off a bit of that bacon the next time that i face off against him he, he kind of deserved it so i didn't feel bad about him but uh yeah that, that was a very cool scene the one older guy did have a point there though he's like it's all fun and games right now laugh it all up but uh when shit really goes down shit when shit actually hits the fan do you guys want boys and these cowards protect you do you want them to have your back or do you want soldiers do you want real men so that's kind of the, the purpose of this training he did have a point there but at the same time you can't just pick on the fat guy just because <laughs> he sucks but uh, I, I don't know how long he's gonna make it if he's actually gonna if he's gonna last very long up at the wall But hopefully while he's under Jon Snow's wing that he can actually turn things around and uh, who knows Maybe we'll actually make a soldier out of him as well Another character that I want to touch on that was introduced this episode was the mountain and seeing those knights go at it And I guess it was jousting is that what it's called? But uh, yeah, I didn't know exactly what happened I thought it pierced through his shoulder But I guess uh, part of the javelin it like pierced through his neck or like broke off splintered But uh, it wasn't just a splinter. I'll tell you that man. That was brutal see all that blood come out and everything it was basically an instant death but uh well he kind of choked on his blood for a little bit so maybe it wasn't instant but it was it was brutal but uh, i definitely want to see more of that character i don't even think we got a good look at his face i know he opened up his like face mask thing on his helmet but uh i'm definitely intrigued by that character i definitely want to see more of him because he seems cool that, that was one hell of an introduction i'll say that for sure but yeah that's pretty much it for me guys i don't have too much more to say in regards to this episode in terms of did i like it or not i actually really enjoyed it i'm definitely eager to jump into the next one uh see what happens especially Especially with Tyrion at the end there because uh say it seems like he's in a rough place it seems like he's gonna be going to jail or something they're gonna hold him captive as always definitely let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below if you guys could like subscribe really helps my channel grow but till next time I am out enjoy your day peace well, I didn't smoke enough for you didn't drink enough for you wasn't fun enough for you wasn't good enough for you damn you play me like a yo-yo and shit